Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to use these eye pens, these small jewelry parts here, uh, some silver uh, beads, they're small round silver beads, and then these metal beads, um, again a little bigger and round, and of course my super glue gel. And we are going to use these to make a Christmas bowl or a Christmas ornament for the Christmas tree. So first I am placing two of the small jewelries. Then I'm placing this bigger middle um, bead. Cutting the eye pen into the length. Using a tiny bit of my super glue gel here on the um, end piece of the little eye pen. Taking one of these small silver balls here and placing it on my eye pen. This can be a bit tricky. Uh, so I found myself a tool here to pick the bead up so that I know where the opening is. And then just place it over the end piece of the eye pen. And there we have a nice little ornament for the Christmas tree. And I made a lot of these. Uh, let me just make one more. First the two small jewelry parts. Uh, you can use any kind of jewelry parts. Then one big jewelry bead. Again, you can use whatever kind of bead you want to. Now I'm just cutting the little eye pen into the length that I want it to. And this one did not want to cut, right? Come on. There we go. Then I am taking a tiny bit of my super glue gel. Trying to keep it so that the stick is uh, from the eye pen is still visible here at the bottom part. Putting the glue on there, picking up the little bead and placing it onto the little rod from the um, eye pen. Again, that can be a tiny bit tricky, uh, but it's manageable. Make as many as you want to have. So you could end right here and do nothing more, but I decided to do some decorations on these. So on the first uh, ones, that is these copper ones, I am going to make um, some snow dripping effect with white paint. Uh, you don't have to do this step, but I'm doing it to make the glitter that we're going to glue on later. Uh, stand out a bit more. If you don't have the white paint under there, it will be less uh, white and snowy uh, when it's done. So I think you should really do it with the paint first. Uh, and after I painted this, I am going to let it dry before I continue. And I'm doing that by hanging them here on this little stick that I have here. When the paint is dry, I am going to take these balls again, or um, ornaments, and I'm using my tacky glue in this little squeeze bottle here, uh, and kind of making the pattern that we painted just with the glue. Don't put too much glue on there, because then it will be one big blob. You just want a small line for each of the lines in the... Uh, paint here and then when I am ready I'm just dunking this one into my glitter and tapping off the rest and then I'm hanging it to dry and that's all there is for this first little uh, ornament I'm gonna make one more just uh, to show you So the next one I am going to grab that again and I am going to use my dotting tool here and then I am going to make a snowflake just using my dotting tool. So the middle dot was a big one. Now I am placing five smaller dots around the big dot. And then I'm going back to the big dot and uh, placing a big dot at the end of all the uh, smaller dots and I'm doing this on both sides of the little um, ornament here so we're gonna do it right here as well. Thank you. 
The last decoration I want to show you is a little heart. So I'm using my red Vallejo paint. This is a flat red, but you can use whatever kind of red you want to. I'm using my dotting tool uh, with the bigger dot, dumping that into the red and just making a dot and then kind of dragging the dot. And I'm doing that from the other side as well. And then you have a small heart and you can do this as many times as you want to. Just remember to look at what's up and down on these um, uh, ornaments before you do it. Anyway, that's all for this little craft. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.